right after this weekend of games, time for a couple takeaways. Now, since they ain't a mini team, I don't really have as many takeaways or whatever, but two come to mind. One, great quarterback play. I, I was like, outside of pretty much, I want to say, I was like CJ Stroud, you know, who go come, like actually being a rookie. I was like, don't get me wrong. He's, I think he still played good, but he went against a vaunted Ravens defense that really staggered the whole game plan of the whole team, not really just CJ Stroud. So, therefore, I'm like, but it ain't like it, he didn't go off how he have been accustomed to. But he still played good, and he still shows, and like, in up until that point, until that second half, you sort of seen, like, and to the point you've seen, like, what makes him a top quarterback and what's going to make him in everybody's ranking, put him in, like, probably the top ten. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, then you had Lamar, who, after the first half that was rocky, I was like, he pretty much said, F this, I'm the MVP, this is what I'm doing. If I got to run, if I got to pass, I was like, if I, you know, whatever I got to do, we getting this dub. And I was like, that's what he did with over 100 on air and ground. I was like, and you've seen why it makes him dynamic and it's hard to play him. Josh Allen. I was like, he ain't turned the ball over. I was like, he was ripping off, uh, he was like ripping off runs. I was like, you couldn't get him to the ground. Uh, a couple more people catch the ball, you probably could see more. Um, I was like, he pretty much had his team there to win, and he pretty much put them in all positions. So, you also seen, and also too against a really great Kansas City defense, he still was sort of getting through them until like that, pretty much that end of the drive. So you've seen that. Patrick Mahomes, nothing need to be said. Uh, even though his offense looks different, the weapons ain't all there how you need it to be. Uh, I was like, they were down against the Bills. I was like, they had the the, the fumble by Hardman and stuff. Even though he didn't have the, even though he didn't like have to lead them to, to, like on a drive after that, he just basically, you know, whether I was like, also I was like, which also the quarterback running. Um, by him scampering for some yard or just being like mobile in the pocket and manipulating the off, you know, the line enough just to get somebody open. I was like, so you seen, so you seen his level on display. Mayfield and golf, uh, they're not the same. They don't have the same dynamicism. I don't know. That's a word we making one today. Shout out to Webster, but. Monks though I was like, but the difference between those three is like, yeah, nobody would probably nobody would put Baker Mayfield uh top ten. I was like, he, he saw he top fifteen, cause I was like, I'm pretty sure he's gonna probably stay with the Bucks. And I think that I don't think that make him fifteen. You know, uh golf. I was like, he pretty much had a case earlier this year also for like MVP at the time, but he pretty much just has that Lions team always ready to go, always making the right pass. I was like, he was on one, too. I was like, him and Laporta, Laporta was, like, killing it. You know, they was just, they, like, they, for, for for like, a couple drives, they was on, they was, like, locked in. Then it was him and St. Brown just locked in. But um, I was like, you've seen him on display also. Like, no matter what Tabo threw or the blitz, and he was still just taking it. Uh, I was like, also, also being able to manipulate things in a way where he got his dues open. And Mayfield, too, I was like, except for that last interception, I was like, he pretty much was putting the ball where it needs to be. He would make a tight throws. He threw that one, like, where he where he uh, was got out the sack and threw it to Ottman. Uh, I was like, his two that he threw to Mike Evans. Uh, yeah, no, so Mayfield was also on point. Uh, Jordan Love. I was like, even I was like, also except for that last interception, he was pretty much on point as well too. He uh he was also playing a really great game. Um, you know, I was like, with all his receivers and his tight ends, I was like, and against uh a, a, a good 49ers defense, we can't say excellent or stellar in the same way we say Kansas City or Baltimore, but against that defense and just in that you know that. In that spotlight with all the young receivers as well, too. Like, he also still played really well. And even Brock Purdy wasn't great for nearly three and a half quarters. 
But when he needed to drive, that boy got to drive. I was like, he wiping, wiping his hand mid throw. But hey, when it came to the end, he was on point to Ayuk. Uh, I was like, to Jennings, he got the scamper. And he got them basically there to score the touchdown and eventually just take the lead and get the win. So quarterback play was well, that uh, like a like really great to excellent uh, this this weekend. Um, also, too, I want to say the defenses because you can't I'm like you have to watch a lot of these games, especially at this time of year with with. With your eyes, I was like more than looking at the stats because, like the Bucks and Lions game, you gonna you'll look at it, and you'll see a high scoring game, and you'll think, oh, the defense and no, no, no defense played well. And it's like, yeah, but when you look at the amount of drive that were halted and stopped, and then this also goes to the Kansas City Chiefs and the Bills. It's like that was another like pretty high scoring game to where you're thinking like, did the defense? It's like yeah, but they got timely stops. I was like. If you you just have like you have to watch the game and just be like oh that was a that was a great pass defense or that was a good pass rush or they stopped Mahomes or they stopped Mayfield or or Lamar when that could have just been like a thirty yard run or a bomb that like dude was open and that one that one second that he could have thrown and he got hit so you have to look at a lot there especially during the playoffs you have to look at these things. With your eyes, especially because, like, as we've seen this season, that a lot of teams that were ranked high with their defense was ranked that way, but didn't do necessarily good or well. So that's why, at the same time, you have to look at these kind of things. Um, and also, three, I think culture. I, I mean, like, I like see this drive with the Texans and with the the the, the Miko. Uh, the Marco Ryan's is doing. I was like, uh, I was like, what he? I was like, what the Houston Texans are building with that young team and the quarterback and stuff. The Baltimore Ravens. That's all. I was like, they're one of the teams that we always talk about are having a good organization. The 49ers, another team that has built that has basically we now recognize as like, I mean, yes, they always had the history and stuff like that too, but also as a good as a good organization. The Packers. They draft well. They, I was like, they, I was like, they know how to develop people. Great organization. Um, I was like, the Bucks, and I was like, and I was like, it's just even this has been more of their recent history, but you've seen basically they did that since basically the little bit before Tom Brady got there. But when Tom Brady got there, that they're still carrying over things to where they still got some of the same players, they still got the same values. Uh, even though they just switched over coaches and stuff like that from Aaron to Bowles, they still keeping that going. The Lions, I was like, they was in the dumpster not too long ago, but pretty much with Campbell and the GM and all that, they pretty much had turned the whole ship around, and now they got something worthwhile going there. I was like, the Bills, I was like, yes, it ended sour like how it has the last few years, but at the same time, I was like, McDermott and all them, I was like, they have kept the same core together. They always, I was like, look, you, it, I was like, unlike basketball, you can't, like, you first round exit sounds horrible in basketball, but in, like, football, like, they, yeah, they make it to the second round. They don't get to the third in the Super Bowl, but they're right there in the hunt all the time, and that's way more than a lot. That's what a lot of teams would like to have. And then this is Chief, double Super Bowl champions. I was like, uh, I was like, no matter what they're doing, whether they're chasing the offensive line, they're chasing the offensive weapons. I was like, their defense is great. You know, um, no matter what, they always figure out also a play style that works for them as well too. So, I think with all of this is also the culture. There's all like, and there's a reason why all these things sort of go together of. Really good quarterback. Kind of nobody that there's no quarterback that's being like. Carried, even though we make we talk and we joke about uh, Brock Purdy, he not being carried, he not doing the same load as as like other people, but he's not being carried either. Um, I was like the defenses at this time of the year, defenses is what you need in order to get where you need to go. 
And it's also not coincident with the quarterback defenses, the culture, what they all identify as. Because a lot of these teams pretty much is now defensive teams. Ravens. I was like, yeah, they got like they got Lamar, but they hang their hat on defense. The Chiefs, they now hang their hat on defense, even though they got a great quarterback. The Bills, I was like, injuries aside, that's what they that's what they do, especially, you know, with the coach. The 49ers, the Lions, the Bucks. I was like, the Green Bay tried to. That's the only that's the really only mulligan here that they tried to and their defense was gonna let them down. And Houston is still young at it, but you but you know that's what they're gonna eventually try to do. With that, with that side, and I, you know what I would like honorable mention is running the ball because even though, like I pointed out, the quarterback play that's been really like great, all these teams also ran the ball particularly really hella well. Uh, I was like either at picking it, I was like outside of probably uh, the Texans, but that's really because they couldn't because they were playing against the Ravens. Other than that. They either timely ran the ball like the Bucks, like they didn't stick to it, but they 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 still ran the ball in order to give good balance. And then the rest of the team just pretty much just ran the damn ball all day. Probably not enough to be honest, because I was like I was like Green Bay. I think they should have done more running the ball. Um, uh, I was like I also think a little bit of the of of. The Bills probably should have as well too, just because they were actually doing a pretty good job at it. And I think they, I felt like they sort of went away at that time where they were just pat, they just went past happy a little bit, um, almost like how Green Bay did. So, but they still ran the ball all. So I'm like, and to be honest, the reason why these teams are also here during the winter time as well too. But anyway, those were my takeaways. I was like, uh. Three main ones in the honorable mention. Let me know what you think, dude. I was like, do you agree? Do you get where I'm coming from? You know, do you have any other takeaways yourself? Anyway, yeah. Till next time.